What brings you here? You know what? I was literally thinking about it and I was like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like I watched some of your videos recently. I came across your videos. Well, recently I came across non-duality videos in general and I, and I then stumbled on yours and I really loved, I loved the joy that I felt in you huh. because some non-dual teachers are, just have a different energy and so I resonated with it. And I think that there's part of me that is still seeking, like searching for something. And part of it is this joy that I, I feel occasionally, like I'll connect in with it and it feels so good, but I don't, I haven't, I don't stay there. I mean, and then I actually feel oftentimes like a lot of like grieving like a lot of sadness still mm. and so there's just a part of me that's like oh my god like like am I is that ever gonna end you know like that the grieving and the sadness is that ever gonna like dissipate where I can just feel more of that like deep joy so I think that that's really what brought me here <laughs> okay so when you're experiencing grief or sadness, because you said there's times where I do experience joy, you know? but then I experience grief and sadness. Yeah. Who or what would be experiencing the grief and sadness? Yeah, my person. Like my. No, no. The person can't experience anything. Oh, I see what you're saying. So really, it's me, my core, who I am. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> I don't know what I call it because I have a felt sense of it. And I always, I, I do feel really connected to it most of the time. Yeah. Tell me what happens when you don't feel connected to it. What happens? I get... I, it feels like I get lost, like in the experience, like I get lost in it. And then I start to identify as it. Yeah. And to, to who or what knows that? Right. Me. <laughs> so, so do, do, do you ever get lost? Really? <laughs> no, you're right but I want to tell myself that I am like my head wants to hang on to that thought that I'm that that's who I am. I'm lost. I'm seeking. Yeah. But, but I know like, that's not true. You'd have I'm, to be, you'd have to be there to know that. Right. Right. I'm lost and I'm seeking. Right. <laughs> so, are you really lost? Cause you're, you're there. It was so annoying. Why do we play this game? Like, why can't I, know, I, I, know, know it? I know. Why can't I just know it? <laughs> I know. But, oh, my God. But it's important, you know, you have to come to see what's actually happening. So, okay. See, this particular teaching is not about discovering who you really are. It doesn't need discovering. It's always here and always has been here. Okay. So this particular teaching is about coming to understand what you're not. Mm. If you don't know, look, see if this resonates with you. Yeah. You're seeking for true self, right? Yeah, yeah, because I'm seeking peace. Yeah. Okay. So you're seeking for true self, correct? Yeah. Good. What does that say about that that is seeking for true self? Wait, say that again. <laughs> you're seeking for true self, right? Yes. Good. What does that say? about that that's seeking for true self 
I mean, it says that like there's nothing to seek. Like there's not. I don't know. There's nothing. Okay, if you if something is seeking for true self, that that is seeking for true self, what's that? It's not self. It's not true self. <laughs> not true self, right? <laughs> right. So here's the the dilemma, right? You've got not true self trying to seek true self. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't make any good. sense. <laughs> good, good, good. It doesn't, does it? So we're just using no. logic, right? We're just right. using logic, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So the seeker is the not true self. Another way of putting that is the seeker is false self. Mm -hmm. Now, how could something that's false discover something that's true? Yeah, it can't. Right. That would be like saying, how do you get something out of nothing? Right. So, so then do you just drop the seeking? Like, why is it that I, I continue? The question would be, the question would be, who would be now dropping the seeking? False self again. <laughs> yeah, it's just fake. <laughs> it's like fake. So what am I doing getting all worked up about it? That's yeah. Like... yeah, that's why I said at the beginning, you know, this teaching is about coming to understand what you're not. Coming to understand what's this false self? Mm. What the hell's going on there? What is that? Yeah, it's just thoughts. Mm -hmm. And it's... Well, to me, it also sometimes feels... It's like patterns, you know? Patterns of I don't what? Know. Patterns of what? Of... Of thoughts but also it feels also sometimes like emotions or feelings like okay um, can can a can a thought experience an emotion no okay so what the thought is saying about the sensation why are you taking that to be true if it can't experience it why are you okay. taking what the mind is saying about the emotion to be true when it can't experience it. I don't know because that makes sense. <laughs> that's like, like that doesn't even equate. Yeah. So is it just that we were conditioned to feel that our thoughts are? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Good. It is weird. That's You're weird. correct. You're correct. It's weird. It's like, what the hell's actually going on here? What's really happening? Yeah, for real. Because it's like, that just doesn't make any, that doesn't even make logical sense. Good. And that's what we're dealing with. Logic. Yeah. Yeah. I don't propose to be a spiritual teacher. At all. Yeah. Spiritual. Mm -hmm. It's like something lofty it's some you know yeah <laughs> and then I and know. everyone's got a different concept of what spiritual means so well, which one is it yeah because i got into spirituality for a while that's kind of what got me into all of this and um yeah i'm with you I but I, if i was ask you to define what spirituality means what would you say yeah, I don't I don't know what I would even say, but I can I can feel in my body like the sense of spirituality does feel really lofty and like airy and like uh, kind of just like ungrounded like a do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, false self just then said, "I have a body." It just says that like well, it just came up as a thought, didn't it? And then it was verbalized out of your mouth. Yeah. Can false self 
have a body. I don't know about that, yeah, because I feel like yeah, well, my do. thought if it's false self. How could something that's false have a body? So then what has a body? Ah. Like doesn't my brain have a body? Yeah. What has a body? That's a better question. But more to the point, do you see that false self can't have a body? It's false. It's not real self. So how could something that's not real self, false self, have a body? Unless you're telling me there's two selves. There's mm -hmm. one real self called false self, and then there's another real self called true self. Does that make any sense? No. No, none at all. See, this idea of personal self, me, it's the seeker. I got into spirituality. Mm -hmm. All of that is a product of thoughts. All of it. What do you think? What do you think you're, did you, <laughs> like, you're not every day thinking about spirituality, are you? No. Right. Not really. So good. So in those moments where you're not thinking about spirituality, is there any spirituality? No. <laughs> right. So, so what is it? That's saying, that's oh, all. now I'm spiritual, now I'm not spiritual, now I'm happy, now I'm sad, now I'm grieving, now I'm happy, now blah, blah, blah. What, what the hell's saying that? Just my thoughts. Correct. 100%. Which is not self. Correct. And it's not true. Correct. okay okay so <laughs> look as a seeming as a seeming person right yeah yeah our biggest complaint if you really have a look yeah is what my thinking is saying all the time is what thoughts are saying all the time if yeah. i could just shut this down i'd be okay says personal self right yeah, literally, that's what I say all the time. I'm like, right. if I could just stop thinking these thoughts, I'll be fine. Good, good. So then the next question is, is Katie the thinker? I want to say yes, but wait. I know, I know you do. But, okay, if you are the thinker, stop it. Yeah, and I can't. <laughs> then you're not the thinker. Okay, so what's the thinker? Don't what worry about the what's the thing. At th 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 this stage, don't worry. What's important to see is Katie's not the thinker. Because you believe you are. And then when we analyze it, when we truly look at it, and we truly analyze it, what do you discover? This idea that I am the thinker is false true yeah because if you were the thinker <laughs> if you were the thinker surely you'd wake up one morning and you'd say you know what today i'm gonna have a holiday today i'm gonna have a break and just for today i'm going to choose to not think can yeah, you do exactly. that no no and I, and I you try. can't do that I know. Yeah, I... Good luck. Good luck with that one. You can't do that. Yeah. Like, look, you know, people sit in meditation for years hoping to be able to quell the mind, hoping yeah. to be able to stop thoughts. For years, mm -hmm. they're trying to do that. Or, <laughs> And all this, all, all that really needs to happen is it just needs to dawn on the meditator. Yeah, thoughts just happen. Yeah. Therefore, I can't be the thinker. 
However, are you aware of thoughts? Yeah. Good. Are you aware of thoughts that just happen? Yeah. Good. What is it that's aware? Like me in here. Is it? Okay. But let's clarify. Is it Katie that's aware of the thoughts? No. Wait. <laughs> no, I don't know. Katie, a moment ago, said, yeah, I'm the thinker. And then we discovered Katie's not the thinker. I'm not the thinker, but I'm aware that there are thoughts. Right. And and now you're you're trying to take the stance. Yes, it's Katie that's aware of the thoughts. Well, if Katie's not the thinker. Good. But something's aware of the thoughts. Good. Is it possible when you've discovered, holy shit, Katie's not the thinker? Hmm, that's, wow. Maybe Katie's not the observer of the thoughts either. Yeah. Okay. What's... I just, what is Katie? That's what I'm like. Good. That was my next question. What's Katie? Because sometimes, like, when I'm, when I'm, I can observe Katie. That's interesting. Hold on. Just there. I can observe Katie. Oh, yes. I have okay. many. Look, I've got to do something with you, yeah? That's a mouse. Can you observe that? Yes. Is that you? Mm -mm. I mean, no, but... No, no, it's clearly not. This is here, and the observing is happening there. Now, a second ago, you said, I can observe, Katie. Well, I have an experience of being like... Okay, so it's not, I guess you're... So it's a, it's a mental experience. It's a thought. <laughs> so... When I say that I'm observing Katie, that's a thought. <laughs> it is a thought, but tell me, if you're observing Katie, what are you observing exactly? It's just like an energy. I don't know. I feel like just energy that I'm observing. When you but say observing, my... are you talking about seeing? Mm. Like in my head, seeing, like imagining. Ah, imagining. Yeah, so it's a thought. Ah, that's a key little word that you use there, imagining. Like if I ask you to imagine a green apple, do that now. Yeah, yeah I can do it. Good. Is that a green apple? No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no. But I've been telling myself this whole time that I'm observing myself, but really I'm just imagining that I'm observing. Yeah. Because so when I'm we like, try and identify what this self is that you're observing, what do you come up with? Yeah, I know, because I can only feel it when I'm not thinking. Ah, uh, well, that's you an know? interesting point. That's an interesting point, yeah. First, let's see if we can identify what Katie is. What's Katie? Right. I, I have resistance. Like, I'm like. It's okay. If I could create amnesia in you, Katie, right? And you've got your name, you've got where you were born, didn't know who your parents were, had no clue what you ever did for a living, don't know what schools you went to, no clue who your friends are. Yeah. If I could mm -hmm. do that now, now who'd be sitting there? Well, would it know. still be would it still be Katie sitting there? No. That's important think... to see. It would just now, be like a go on. It would wouldn't it just be like a blank canvas type? It, we're talking about amnesia 
is about personal self. Okay, you'd still know that was a laptop in front of you. Do you understand? Mm, But I see. So well, I didn't. Good. I didn't understand. But It's now okay. I do. Good. So if we get rid of, if we use amnesia, and we get rid of the all the whole idea of a Katie, who or what would now be sitting here? Yeah, I mean, I would just, I don't know. I don't know. Good. It wouldn't be Katie, but I don't It, know who. Good. The important thing there is it wouldn't be Katie. Now, having had that little realization, what's Katie? An identity, a made up identity. Memory. We just, Memory. We just eliminated it. Right. So Katie is the story of a Katie. That's what Katie is. You take mm -hmm. yourself to be the story of Katie. The story of Katie. Yeah. You, yeah. Like, it, are you getting this? You're taking yourself to be the story of Katie. And then if we eliminate that with amnesia, the story of Katie disappears. Yeah. Yeah. Now what's here? Now what's here? You don't die as a result of amnesia, do you? No, you don't die. But right. why do I feel fear when you say this? Because I can understand what happens. I feel is that just like because I feel like my identity is like being threatened or something i feel fear because i'm like wait yeah but you you have to understand what this apparent identity is yeah it's just a story hello and and if we remove the story you do not fall dead off that chair mm -hmm. something remains And this that remains, yeah, your whole life, you've been calling it Katie. Hmm. Is it Katie? Because if we remove the backstory about a Katie, this now isn't dependent on a Katie, is it? No. Doesn't die. Doesn't die. Something remains. And this something that remains, the mind has been calling this something that remains Katie your whole life, which is false. It's not true because if we remove the Katie with amnesia, this still is. So it can't be a Katie. Yeah, I feel that. Good. Good, good. It, it like, it makes me emotional. Yeah, good. That's okay. Allow that. Allow it. Whatever's coming up, allow it. <laughs> yeah, that makes me emotional. It's like, because I can feel it, you know? I understand. You know, look, that's something. Look, let's look at that, okay? Let me ask you this question. Is it Katie that feels emotional? No. Is there an emotion there? There's an emotion, yeah. Yeah, there's an emotion there, yeah. What's important to see is Katie can't feel. And it's only Katie that would like the feeling gone. It's Katie that wants to get this teaching and this understanding. It's Katie that's the seeker on this non-dual path, trying to get to this place of bliss <laughs> and joy and blah, blah, blah. Right? That's all a Katie character, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is, yeah? Yeah. And there'll even be a belief there somewhere tucked away in there, for sure. It's Katie experiencing these emotions. <laughs> Katie yeah. is nothing. Listen, Katie is nothing but a pattern of thoughts. You talked about patterns earlier. Katie is nothing but a pattern of thoughts. Because mm. if we remove that pattern of thoughts with amnesia, Katie disappears. 
but something remains. And this something that remains is what's being sought by the Katie character. <laughs> Who can never find it. <laughs> Correct. Because it can't experience this. A pattern of thoughts is not conscious, but there's consciousness right here. You are conscious right here now. You are conscious. You know what it's like to be conscious. You do. You're conscious. That pattern of thoughts about a Katie can't experience this that you're experiencing right now, this consciousness. The pattern of thoughts can't experience this. That's why it can never find it. Because it can't experience it. Yeah. It doesn't need sense. finding. It's here, right here, right now. It's just that this that is here, right here, right now, the mind has been calling this me your whole life. <sighs> but this, this is not dependent on an idea of a me. It's not dependent on it. At all. This that is here now, you could call it consciousness if you want to, yeah? This that is yeah. here now, yeah, is what Katie's been looking for. Yeah, and I have moments of this. And, yeah, I mean, mm, I it's just... A Look, it's always this, Kate. It's always this. It's just the yeah. mind steps in and says otherwise. No, I tell myself the story that it's not always here. The, 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 the mind is saying that. You know those thoughts that just happen? Yeah, that's not true. It's nothing to do with you. It's nothing to do with you. And when I say you, I'm talking about this. You're conscious right now. You're aware right now. You're alive right now. You're absolutely here right now. You. When I say you, I don't mean Katie. Yeah. yeah. When that's so there's a big story that goes on in the mind about a Katie. There's a big story that goes in, on in the mind about my job. There's a big story that goes on in the mind about my parents. There's a big story that goes on in the mind about my siblings. There's a big story that goes on in the mind about my friends. There's a big story that goes on in the mind about the world. How many stories are going on in there? A ton. <laughs> a ton. <laughs> like, Which is normal. That's the normal human being. That's what's happening. Yeah, you're no different. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's doing that. Yeah. What's being identified with is the story. Mm. Please tell me you're more than a story. Yeah. Please tell me that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's just a story. The mind constantly creates stories, constantly. You're taking yourself to be the story instead of just this here, now, just here. You know, I sometimes, sometimes, um, right now for you, yeah, I know there's emotions going on. I know there's confusion going on in the mind, right? I know that's what's happening there, yeah? I know it. All right, so let's do a reality check, shall we? Okay. Okay. I want you to turn around and look behind you and just look around the room behind you. Look around. Good. Come back here. Is your laptop on a table? Yes. Look under the table. What do you find? Uh, garbage my feet <laughs> good so here's my question yeah and i want you to answer this honestly what's wrong with right now 
You're here. You are 100% here. Now look around and tell me what's wrong. Nothing. Nothing. That's, a, that's called a reality check. <laughs> right? Now, where do we need to go to source all these problems? Where do you go? Yeah. But you live here. Listen to me. You live here. You're here. What this is saying is not true. Look yeah. around. What's wrong? Nothing. You can do that reality check a hundred times a day. A hundred times a day. You'll always find everything's fine. There's nothing wrong. Here, now, nothing wrong. And you start to come to see that what this has been saying your whole life is bullshit. And I feel myself even wanting to continue right now to create stories about it. And I'm like, yeah. but I, like, like, no, don't, don't, like, don't go there. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Because yeah. it, when I am just here and there are no problems, like, and you and it, and you are always, always, always yeah. just here. Yeah, that's you can true. never be anywhere else other than to... here. Hey. <laughs> you can never be know. anywhere else other than here. It's always now. When is it not now? You tell me. I well, know, it's true. Good. Good. Hang on to the, the it's true. Hang on. It's okay. You're, you're, gonna, you're all right. It's going to be okay, yeah? We're just smashing the illusion. Yeah, it has, saying... to, has to be smashed. And you have to see the illusion. You have to see it. good yeah. it's okay sorry go on <laughs> sorry. Oh, i know i just like i can just i feel it and i feel myself you know moving more i know it's like that's even a story i just feel like i don't even know what to say because i'm so used to saying story yeah great catch and i don't know how to like i don't know what to do <laughs> <laughs> like what do I do? <laughs> okay, well, well, let me ask you. Yeah, right, right here, right now. What needs be done? Look around again. Look around. Nothing. What needs be done? Nothing. But I'm just gonna sit here and cry because I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs>